for watching New Vision TV, I am Ruth Nasege. Now as Uganda prepares to celebrate 55 years of independence, New Vision TV continues to relive the events that happened then. And this one is one of those. Now as independence approached, Milton Obote was introduced to Uganda's king, Sir Edward Mutesa, and the two worked together to defeat the Democratic Party of Benedicto Chuanka. It is however surprising that as soon as these two got their victory, they separated so badly. Now New Vision TV examines how the unexpected happened so fast. The internal self-government of DP's Benedicto Chuanuka was short-lived and a new pre-independence election was held. Abu Mayanja had introduced Milton Obote to Kawaka Edward Mutesa. The DP was demonized as Dini Ya Papa because of the many Catholics in its ranks and a lot of propaganda was spread in Buganda that Chiwanuka was disrespected to the Kabaka. Buganda voted for Luchiko members and DP was badly defeated losing all seats. Luchiko went ahead to select 21 members to the National Assembly to represent Buganda. Buganda therefore never voted directly for their MPs. Back in England, the Lancaster Conference had, while ironing out final details, decided not to conclude the matter of the two disputed counties, Buyaga and Bugangizi, whether they should belong to Buganda or Bunyoro. The DP delegates had walked out of the meeting. The Buganda delegates later also walked out of a meeting over the counties and Obote wrote a cheat to the Kabaka, who was also in London, but not in the meetings, promising not to push the lost counties issue that the Banyoro wanted to take back to Bunyoro Kingdom from Buganda. The Baganda returned to the meeting and Obote was praised by both the British and Baganda as a conciliatory statesman. Back in Kampala, a party for the Bagandan monarchists was formed and called Kabaka Yeka. When it entered an alliance with Obote's UPC, they had an overwhelming majority to form government. There were no presidential elections then and the party with the majority seat formed government. Obote was thus handed the instruments of power on October 9, 1962, as Uganda's first executive prime minister. Parliament later made Mutesa the president, an honorary position without the executive power. The honeymoon was short-lived, however, when barely a year later, UPC brought a motion giving the date of a referendum to determine the fate of the lost counties, 4th November 1964. The Kabaka and Baganda monarchists were stunned in shock. Kabaka Yaka chairman Michael Chintu rushed to Obote with a cheat he had written in London three years earlier promising to support Buganda regarding the counties. Obote laughed it off, saying the cheat was not the constitution of Uganda. The preparations for the referendum took off. It is alleged that Buganda sent many of its World War veterans to settle in the so-called lost counties and gave them land there. Then the electoral rules were released, indicating that only people who had lived in the counties for a specified period qualified to vote. So the mobile voters became useless to Kabaka Yeka. Come November, Buganda lost the referendum badly and the lost counties reverted to Bunyoro Kingdom. The split between Kabaka Yeka and UPC was sealed and became permanent. After the referendum, it was downhill of the marriage of UPC and Kabaka Yeka. The Prime Minister Bote did a few things to show that Kabaka, as president, was powerless. For example, he stopped the police band from playing at the Kabaka's birthday party, humiliating him as president. Eventually, in 1966, Obote overthrew Mutesa, who escaped and died in poverty in exile three years later.